Hello, my name is Rapid Best Second. Welcome back to RimWorld. You know, I am enjoying this RimWorld every day, so uh, by Friday, I don't know, I might decide something else, but uh, judging for now, I might be keeping the schedule. So if you are enjoying more RimWorld than Slate Aspire, well, enjoy. And for those of you that are enjoying more Slate, more Slate Aspire, I am sorry. For now, though, Maskin is going to break something down. Oh no, not the hospital beds! Oh, it's too late now. That has so many components. Ugh. Right, so we do have peace talks, and I am gonna send people out on the peace talks. So let's actually get a caravan going. Now, I was looking at the world map, and what I did notice is there is a landed ship here. And the description says that this is the location of a hidden ship which can help you escape the planet. The problem with that is, of course, you know. It's kind of far away, it's like 30 days away. For now though, let's actually uh, set up for the peace talks. So I'm gonna need, is it Sheet? It's not Sheet, it's uh, actually Shouda, which is gonna need to go. Shouda is our specialist uh, in terms of social. So I'm actually not gonna send too many people out. Is every is somebody restricted? Let me just say, I would just wanna see, nope, nobody's restricted. So I'm about to start actually uh, forming a caravan. So Shadow will need to go. Oh, where's Shadow? Lyra will definitely need to go because Lyra is our field medic. Lyra, oh Lyra. Who else am I gonna send out? Renz definitely. Zetro definitely. I'm not gonna send out Touche because Touche is mostly uh, cleans. Mars is going because Mars is mostly here to shoot. Honestly, so you know we're sending Mars. And we're sending Shada because Shada is the person who will negotiate. Now, I will only get a single buffalo here. I have set up a lot of these animals to actually be slaughtered. Most of the alpacas, uh, some of the pigs, a couple of the cows, but, but that's about it. So they will be slaughtered eventually. Let's see. Okay, so I can actually take... I want to take like one of the buffalo. Where's the buffalo? There they are. This is just in case... Ah, oh, it actually raises our visibility. You know what? We will not take a muffler. In terms of pemmican, that's 150. That's uh, a day's food worth. That's, I think, like three or four days away. So let's say I want to bring enough food for three days. No, for like five days. So 500 more pemmican for seven days. So 600 more pemmican. 7.9. Actually, I'll bring the 75 as well. You know, just just do it. 8.5 days. I'd rather have the food than not have the food. Something else we're going to be bringing, like, eh, four or five simple meals. Uh, now bringing in a sick mate. Uh, herbal medicine. We do need that. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the herbal medicine? Do I not have any? Oh, there it is. So I'm going to take these three... And I'm going to take like five more as backup. And nothing else, I believe. Oh, we have a lot of dead corpses. <laughs> They're not really going to need uh, anything to bargain with. We're just going there and talking. That's it. Uh, chocolate. Let's take some chocolate. If I have any, let's take some chocolate. Can I like not search? Seriously? Because I don't see the chocolate. That's the problem. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, like right, right. Choose the trade route. So actually, that's half a day away. Choose the route, and I guess I'll lower the uh, amount of food they're taking. I guess four days of food. It's half a day away, so we do have a lot of uh, a lot of actually time. Yeah, we should be more than fine. We don't really need... Are you sure you want to form the caravan? Yes, because... We... Recall this. Okay, they are beginning to gather. That is good. Peace talks. We can remove that because we are headed that way. And I believe I should actually start scanning for more uranium. Sooner or later. Preferably sooner. So if a bed is dead, that is not good. 
Uh, the other thing I was actually looking for is possible trades. You know, just sending out people, see what, uh, for example, Styles has to, like, sell. I You can obviously check what they're buying from here, which I do know. I, I did see the button, like, a long time ago. But you cannot see what they're selling, so... I guess it has to... You have to, like, go there and find out. You can haul these, please. Touche, are you, like, cleaning? Thank you, but I need you to clean this here. Like, this room should be a top priority clean, I, and I have no idea how to set it as a top priority clean. This is just a very important room. It's just, I don't know, like, zones? This is a snow area, but we don't have snow because we're in temperate climate. No, there's just, like, nothing. And we do have... Wow, inside here is like 87 degrees Celsius. Peace talk success. The talks were success. The dialogue reached new mutual understanding on several substantial issues. Let me read this. Have improved by 61. And shout ahead. My negotiator has gained 6,000. They see the man's treaty is now at negative 19. That is good. Uh, enter mystical in. You're not going anywhere else. This was this was the only reason why I sent you out. I might actually send them out to trade. I mean, red basin is sort of mad at me. The blue sardines. I'm sorry. That's just too funny. There's no way I'm not laughing at that. Yeah, here is kind of hot. Oh, even here is kind of hot. I, I might have to actually build some coolers. But I guess because there is actually enough wood here, I might just, you know, have normal coolers. Like wooden ones. Where's the uh, temperature? Like passive coolers, right. I'm just gonna put them like here. And I do need to expand this zone. Just over here. The wood though. Gather the wood! Right. What are they doing at this point? Like, alpacas are sleeping everywhere. Seriously, who's on slaughtering duty? Cleaning blood, butchering. I'm not entirely sure. Which one is slaughtering, though? It's butcher creature, right? Oh, maybe uh, this needs to be, like, slightly expanded, I guess. Yeah, sure, I'll expand the range a little bit. Maybe that'll help, I don't know. Touche is like cleaning everywhere else, but except the med bay, which is very important. Another thing, I actually haven't decided if I want to keep this so big, but I guess I will. And let's actually move it. Uh, not uninstall, reinstall. So I'm going to just move all the beds here. It's going to be sort of cramped, but... I mean, I can actually section these off on the inside. It's still gonna be cramped, but it's not gonna be so cramped. I guess we can do that. I'll just set it. I'll just set the speed to the speed. All right, so it's gonna be like this. Then we're gonna have like marble walls because I do want dressers inside. Uh, dresser and a stool. One is gonna be, of course, a med bay. Okay, uh, so over here, I can actually make this one wider, right? Yeah, you know what? I'll make it one wider. Stop pausing. Seriously, stop pausing. Just so they have a little bit more room. Like so. Now what this means is that I probably won't have enough room for so many beds. Oh, raid. The blue sardine. <laughs> uh, they want to use sappers to tunnel around my defenses. What side though? Oh, that is a bad side. Let's see how many you got. Ah, mostly pillars. A couple of clubs. Wow, the amount of uh, things here. Wow, okay. What are you doing? Hunting gazelle? No, I actually want to restrict everybody now. Uh, everybody to the home zone. Problem is, my people are about to come and I have no idea from where they're going to arrive. So, another thing. Touche is not a good shot. Ferret is not a good shot. Faye is not a shot at all. Who can shoot out of all you? 
Shen. Uh, Shen is a bad shot. Zane, Zane, where's Zane? Zane manned this mortar. This mortar has force shooting, but we are gonna stop force shooting. Uh, are they attacking immediately? Yeah. Okay, that's not good. What this means is that I actually need Zane on the front line. And everybody actually on the front line. Farah, somewhere around here. Everybody else I actually want here. Faye in the Mad Bay. Eden, here. Touche, over there. Because you're melee, you're gonna be covering both of these angles. Sheet, you're not drafted yet. Over here, Peruvian. Safe here. Asking in you too. I need your help. Shen, here. And yeah, that's it. So I have no idea where they're gonna try and come from actually, which is it's gonna be interesting. Let's actually try and cover most of the angles. Caravan arrived! Um mm -hmm. Well, I need I need all your help. So all of you have a sniper, you can actually stay around there. Eden, I don't really want you to get hurt, so. There. Um you over there. Shen, you have a chain shotgun, so over here. So everybody should be recruited. Yep, except Roughchild. Roughchild really needs to stay safe, so just stay here. And eh, they killed the door, big deal. And most of the people are not in a good position to shoot though, which is an issue. Shoot, you have bolt action. Oh sheet move up. Ollie, move up. Actually, Ollie, yeah, Ollie just doesn't have vision at the moment. And Eden is actually going to move up here. Where's everybody? Oh, these are still making their way back. Okay, enough about the raid. I knew they're already in the base. If you can actually move somewhere. Okay, actually, most of them are going to. Oh, yep, one of them died, I think. I think it was just one of them. Yeah, the long-range turrets have my back, like, badly, so. Okay, come on. Shoot. Death Cow 25. That is not good. But the enemy are retreating. Everybody else? You are unrecruited now. Let me just do it. I don't need to chase them down. It's fine. Now, a cow died, so. Uh, this pig is gonna be slaughtered soon, but that does not mean I don't want it to go. I believe I also set up all the chickens to actually be slaughtered. This door needs fixing. Oh, this is steel. I actually didn't check. I know I just placed it without checking, so... Uh. Death Cockroll 1. Well, you were already gonna be slaughtered. I'm pretty sure I set up all chickens to be slaughtered. Ugh, Maskeenan, you and your confusion. Yeah, this area is like really hot. We really need to like fix that up. Is this outdoors? Let's see. Is it outdoors? Death. So the cow. Oh, that's confusion. Okay, it's fine. All right, everybody can actually be unrestricted now. Let's not forget to do that. Oh, I forgot to make Mars's schedule. Hmm, huh, totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. So they're rebuilding everything. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I just needed to stretch for a little bit. Inspired recruitment, ferret. All right, so I was building this, oh, this marble wall. Well, that'll need to go. Okay, let's go like so. So it's gonna have to be a medical one. One medical. Actually, you know what? There's gonna be two medical here. Uh, is it like one dresser per uh, thing? Gives a small comfort bonus to all nearby beds. Placing more than one dresser near the same bed has no effect. That's fine. So we're gonna reinstall this, I don't know, somewhere around here. Oh, that's gonna be. Okay, over here, I guess. 
And we're gonna be reinstalling this bed over here. So I guess somebody's gonna have to have the small room, but eh. We're reinstalling this here. And doors, let's not forget doors. I really need to actually stop pausing. Wooden doors should be fine. And after all these are actually reinstalled in their places. Okay, so this one will have to actually be reinstalled here because this is going to be a very important room. And I need one of these per bed, I'm pretty sure. So reinstall it here. Reinstall this one over here. And they'll eventually do it. And then I'll just like uh, place a table somewhere around the metal and get a nutrient paste dispenser as well. In like a cold room. Just so we can add some food there. You know. Okay, all of them are supposed to be slaughtered. Why is nobody doing it? We'll never do cleaning. We'll never do hauling. Not assigned to cleaning, not assigned to hauling. Well, who's assigned to slaughtering? Cleaning, cleaning. Not assigned to handling. Okay, so only people who are actually assigned to handling can do the slaughtering. Okay, I get it now. Uh, but actually, those people are like Faye, and uh, Faye is incapable of violence. So who else needs to be assigned to handling? It's just Faye? Well, no wonder we're not killing anybody. Okay, you shout out. You're gonna have... I know you're mostly cleaning and then everything else, but... You're gonna handle as well in your spare time, so is... Shout is incapable of violence, of course. But you can still handle in your spare time. What was that? Oh, right, we did kill most of the wildlife. Death rooster, too. Yeah, that's fine. Malnutrition, well... I was killing you anyway. Right, who else is handling? Zetro, nope. Nope. Oh, boy, this is gonna be annoying. Like, nobody's gonna have more than, like, three or four. Shen, you, you could, like, do that, right? Like, Faye has it, but that's about it. Shen, you're mostly growing. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna set this up on, like, three, just so you have it. And I want you to actually do that now. You know what? Afterwards. Let me just set it up. Slaughtering, slaughtering. No wonder I wasn't killing any of the animals. It's just because there was nobody who could do it. Seriously, like, kill the pigs. Because they're, they're consuming too much food at this point. Like, all the grass in the immediate area is just gone. Alright, let's see. Uh, so, I believe... Eden? Eden needs an implant, though. So I guess it has to be Shadow, right? It's Shadow or Peruvian? It's Peruvian. So next time I'm actually uh, sending Peruvian. Combat Supplier, let's see what they have to offer. Okay, I can sell them... What can I sell them? <laughs> I can buy all the components. I guess I am using a lot of them, so... Yep, I have like three Ambrosia, sure, sell it. I have a plasteel knife to sell that. And three sculptures, sure. I mean, there's nothing else for me to buy, honestly. Seriously, what kind of a combat supplier are you? There's a charge lance, sure. Molotovs, no. Flag pants, we can just build those, that's so fine. Marine helmet, eh. Yeah. I'm just gonna get my money. We are making more sculptures. I'll actually increase this by, yeah, you know what? Five more. Because we are making money out of them from time to time. Rough Child is throwing a party. That is good. That is really good. Now, this needs to be a medical. And these are prisoner beds. Now, of course, I'm gonna need to smooth the service and then uh, make some wooden flooring ab above it. But before that, let's actually make an extra room. Death Pig 9. It's probably due to starvation, isn't it? Reinstall these somewhere else just so I don't have to, like, look at them temporarily. 
Due to malnutrition. Well, I guess they're dying by themselves. <laughs> the muffalo, though. Yeah, they have food. It's fine. Seriously, Shen, I just... You know what? You know what you're gonna do, Shen? You're gonna handle... Where's that? That is your top priority now. <laughs> I just need you to kill all these animals as soon as you wake up. Just slaughter them all. Just all of them. Like, seriously. Like, do it now. Major break risk. Mask Union. Well, there's nothing I can do about you. Food poisoning, dementia. Yeah, you can just break. It's fine. More than fine. Oh, we're out of count field. Nobody's refueling them. That's fine. Oh, this one broke down. Broken down. Yep. Oh, well. I mean, that's why the power cells are here, you know, when they do broke, break down on where, or, or when they need to be refilled, you know. I'm actually going to turn... Oh, people are... Okay, they're actually slaughtering them. The problem is the bears are eating them. So are the huskies. Can you slaughtered all of them? Oh, there's a raid going on. Oh, from two sides. They want to use sappers. The blue sardines. Okay, you know, because it's the blue sardines, they are not that hard because they are mostly a tribe. And it's a very small raid, honestly. I mean, I'll most of my people will actually come here. And a very small chunk of my people will come here. How cold is it in here? It's actually 17 degrees, so we're fine with these coolers. Right, let's set up my people and see who goes where. Over here, please. Right, so Maskin, I do not need you. Peruvian, no. Zane, Zane, you're gonna come over here. Somewhere. Ollie, you're gonna come over here as well. Eden, yeah, I do wanna keep you safer. So, Eden, you're gonna be like around here. Faye, in the infirmary. It's very important. Fred is actually going to come out here and help out. And Mars is... Mars, Renz, and Sheet are actually going to go down. And whoever's left, where Lyra's going to go down as well. And somebody actually needs to flick the switch. That is going to be you. Shadow doesn't need to be here. Zitro needs to go with these... With this team. So the Shen, I guess. And you are going to come help out here. Touche, you're going with them as well. Nope, we're actually, you're actually coming up here. As backup. Because we have far less shooters here. Than you think. Ferret, come, come as backup. Touche as well. My alpacas, my cows. Oh, wait, these are fleeing. And yeah, they're just corpses. Okay, one is still alive. Death in four hours. Let's see. Ooh, good shot. Psychopath. I don't care about the gay. Uh, it does. It has no negative or positive. Uh, really, this thing. Ascetic. Uh. Well, I guess he can he can eat simple meals. Psychopath is really good because that is a great fighter, and I do want fighters. Good construction, good at plank cutting. I really don't need him for anything else. Recruitment, though, because it's a tribe, is gonna be kind of hard. You know what? We are gonna capture him. Uh, capture, and Faye's gonna treat him. Okay, we couldn't kill that one. It's fine. I just want to repair my wall. Everybody else down. Uh, these people might need help. Uh, in fact, oh, they, they actually entered from the entrance. You're kidding me. All right, everybody's free to do whatever they wanted. Shout out Peruvian, Maskinen, you two, Earth Child, sure. Only Ferret is actually going to have to still be recruited. Oh, Ferret is not recruited. Never mind. So the only thing I want is actually Faye staying here because I will prioritize Faye going in here and helping. 
I am attempting to recruit a lot of fighters. It is because I am planning to do a lot more raids. Uh, mostly for... Not strip. Yep. Tend. Uh, a lot more raids because I do want to actually get a lot of steel soon and a lot of uranium and those will require me sending out raiding parties. I guess I can actually have... If one of the beds is here... One, two, yeah. The bed and then the... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that should be fine. I'm actually probably going to remove one of the beds. This one's going to have to be reinstalled somewhere around here. This one's going to have to be reinstalled, I don't know, somewhere around here. And they will have actually more than enough room for a lot of things. I'm going to need to build so many dressers and they are so much wood. Right, speaking of wood, uh, sorry for the long pause there. But yeah, I'm going to be chopping down a bunch of wood now. Like all this. Just so we have wood available. Okay, I think Shen actually slaughtered most of the animals. Let's see. Are any of them in need to be slaughtered? No. We still have a lot of these, but because they're babies, I'm still going to be keeping them. So for now, actually Shen is going to be taken off of handling. That is all I needed Shen to do, honestly. Just slaughter the animals. I'm surprised that that's not a hunting duty. Honestly. You can like do whatever else you want, just don't slaughter the, any, any more animals. I think you've had enough fun. Alright, let's see, how is Krika doing? I mean, the right arm has been shot off, but I can replace that, so it's fine. Prisoner, eh, 63% recruitment difficulty, should be fine, we can fix that. People are going to be entering and leaving this area kind of often there, so. So we did smooth the floor, wooden floor. Exotic goods trader, hmm. Where's Peruvian? Peruvian? Go talk to the nice people, please. You know what? As soon as you wake up. Well, let's not wake you up. Actually, what I'm thinking is maybe somebody will have a solo room and a couple of people won't have a solo room. <laughs> because this is just like... Yeah, that's too much space taken up. I could like... I don't know, what would this be? If I build a room like so and one like so, this this place is just going to be empty. You know what? One of these rooms is going to be a double room. And that's it. Oh, they might not like it, but it's going to be a double room. I could actually keep that one. Because this is where the door is going to be. And the beds are going to be like, I don't know, this one here and like, one over here. They're going to be slightly further apart, I guess. And I'm going to be removing one of the rooms. Okay, this is the exotic goods trader. Let's see, what do we have? Advanced components. I do want to buy them. They do have six. I will buy them because I'm about to build uh, s several more things. Okay, anything, anything I can sell you that I don't need. Construction... Wow, I'm, I'm having the case of the hiccups uh, just now. It's starting. What is going on? There is a free lung, which I might actually choose to buy and keep. Bionic stomach. I can build that. Joy wire we don't want. Wait, so Arctech. Arcotech, sorry. Uh, built by an Arcotech. It looks and feels like natural flesh, but a pair of these can move the user as fast as a decent car, and it is harder to damage than plastic. Even if it's harmed, it repairs itself over time. Its internal workings are, are a mystery to all human minds. So I guess this is the rarest thing to get. But it is probably the best thing to get because it, it'll it make the leg indestructible, I suppose. The problem is I don't want it because it's very expensive. I can buy it, but I don't want it. I guess that's if you're running a very small colony and one of your people is missing a leg and you can't afford it. But I'm running a big colony, so yeah, there's none of that going on. They have components, I could buy those as well. There's just nothing I can sell to them, which is an issue. I have a little bit of hyperweave, I guess I'm not using it. 
Hmm. Like, there's nothing else I can just I can just sell normally. Hey, you know what? I I'm not using the hyperweave. Let's face it. I'm probably not gonna use it. So. You'll leave it at that. I'm surprised. Here's like 40 degrees Celsius now because of these two. But it's actually none of the heat is carrying over through the walls, which is kind of interesting. I would have assumed it would because, you know, I live in an apartment building and the heat does transfer through the walls. You might think it doesn't, but it actually does. Uh, you... If you're actually living in a building where most of the people have the AC on 24-7 like we do, and they have it on like really high, we normally don't, we have it on like medium because there is no point in having it on extreme temperatures in my opinion. But if they have it on really high and like everybody around you's home is really warm, so will yours be warmer by like 2 or 3 degrees than most other people's, so that's, you know, that's really good. As soon as you wake up, you are to clean dirt over there. What are these two doing? Oh, smoothing the floor, okay. Uh, exotic goods trader. Didn't we, like, just... Huh? Let's see, let's see. Yep. Yo, know, what would happen if we actually called Mineron? Let's see what happens. Uh, greets Peruvian warily and ask what business you want to handle. Request a trade caravan. We can. It costs 15 goodwill, though. Request military aid. Oh, that's good. But we are not an ally, and we are not... Yeah. Request the location of an AI Persona core. Costs 1,500 uh, silver and needs 40 steel. So I don't need this anymore. You know, I just wanted to see if I could actually do anything with just contacting people. So I actually could raise, uh, you know, I, a volcanic winter will still have that going on. I could actually, you know, uh, raise the goodwill between us and Mineron for a little bit. And they could aid us in support uh, when the psychic ship. Oh, that's good. When we actually start building the ship and when the raids start coming in. Let's actually see the psychic ship. Where is it? It is close by. It, it would have been a lot better if it was like somewhere around here. Like it would have just been closer to the entrance. But anyway, I'm actually going to end things off here and we will deal with the psychic ship in the next episode. For now, my name has been Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of RimWorld and I do hope to see you all in the next one.